the accomplishments of 2018 and what's to come in 2019. It was all discussed at the Naperville Area Chamber of Commerce's 29th Annual State of the City Address presented by Mayor Steve Cherico. This year's speech was framed in the style of Monopoly. Being mayor of now the fourth largest city in Illinois, it's no game, but the spirit of a well-played game, friendly competition, vision, and strategy does apply to how we run our city. And running strong is the city's economy. Outside of Chicago, Naperville now has the largest economy in the state of Illinois. People spent $405 million on dining over the last year and over $3 billion shopping in Naperville. The mayor also recognized the steps city council has taken toward being financially responsible to taxpayers. And guess what? Today, we have the lowest municipal tax rate that Naperville has seen in the past 50 years. But the most exciting announcements lay in development. The mayor revealed that the long vacant Dominic's on Route 59 and 95th Street will become LA Fitness, while a boutique grocer will also join the strip. A good indication of a well-governed and a well-managed city is whether you have more people moving in than you have moving out. And in a state where the population is shrinking, Naperville is still a destination city. Another area of growth is on the I-88 corridor, where the old Nokia building is now under contract for purchase by Glenstar. Also going strong are our fire and police departments. Their efforts landed Naperville as the safest city in America last year. And to stay true to that title, the city is implementing new 911 technology in 2019 called Next Generation 911. Once in place, people can make video calls or even text to 911. Police and fire are also working together to address the rising number of mental health calls. That means creating a joint crisis intervention team to provide appropriate response and care for these situations. Reflecting on our past successes and upcoming progress makes the address a valuable moment for Naperville. We're really fortunate to have 600 people attend this event because it just shows the uh, importance of an event like this and the impact that the information has. People walk away more educated, knowledgeable, and really excited about the community that they live in. A community whose story is moving forward in the game in 2019. In games, you can't be the only participant. And there are so many people and participants in the Naperville story. There are no winners or losers when we work together. Reporting for Naperville News 17, I'm Christine Lena.